Once we have our fixtures patched, uh, I would like to introduce you to the programming screen. So in Enlighten, there are two screens, the programming mode and the playback mode. The playback mode contains the scenes and buttons that you would uh, use to trigger your looks. Uh, this one's empty, and we'll create those in just a little bit. And then the programming mode screen is broken up into two parts. The right part is where you select your fixtures, and the left part is where you will see the traits of those fixtures. So it's broken up. The palette presets are broken up into color, gobo, shutter, uh, beam, function, rotation, speed, and position. And so that is the palette window on the left side. And again, the fixture selection window on the right side. One very um, handy thing to know about Enlighten is you can always go directly to the channels that uh, of any fixture selected. So let's say I grab all the, uh, select all the baby colors. I can go to my faders tab here on my palettes. And then now I have direct control of each of the faders uh, for all of those fixtures selected. So the faders tab is very useful um, just to be able to have uh, a visual and control of each dedicated channel. You can also click here on the bottom of these faders and if there are traits built into the profile, you'll see those presets there. Uh, in addition, uh, Enlighten has the MFX and RGBFX tabs. Those are automatic macros depending on, for MFX it would be um, pan and tilt fixtures, for RGBFX it would be RGB fixtures, and that basically allows you to create uh, macro looks very easily and quickly just by pressing one of these presets. Now I want to bring up the clear all button um, for people who are just starting with Enlighten. This is very important. You want to get used to making sure that you hit the clear all button when you are about to create a look. The clear all makes sure everything in memory is clear and you have a good starting point for knowing where, you know, what you want to program. So I'm going to talk about the init button, initialize all selected fixtures. So um, in the case of the RGB fixtures, if I select all my RGB baby colors here and I hit initialize selected fixtures, you'll notice that the red, green, blue, and white um, values went up to a, a 255 or 100%, and the dimmer also went up to 255. So the init button is a quick way to initialize your fixtures to turn on the dimmer channel. Um, it saves you a step because you don't have to go here and manual turn on the dimmer channel. Um, just the same, if I have my moving light fixtures selected, when I hit some initialize selected fixtures, it will also open the shutter, turn up the dimmer, and center my fixture down. So the initialize selected fixtures button, very important. Um, it helps uh, create or it makes initializing your fixtures very quick and um, you don't have to go to turn those individual channels on every time you're about to, to do something with the fixtures. Now we'll talk here now about fixture groups. You'll see that we have, because we patched these fixtures, um, they automatically create fixture groups. So I can select my baby colors, all of my baby colors, or all my spot bots. And also keep in mind, I can hold the shift key down and simultaneously select both my baby colors and my spot bots at the same time. So you'll see on the right hand side, the red label indicates those fixtures are now selected. One other thing is the fixture view. You can have up to nine views and the situation where this is helpful, let's say your baby colors are used for house lighting or you know you have some other house lights patched in your show. I can add a view and this creates a separate view and then I can also even move these fixtures to the second view. So then you can have the fixtures that are on stage on one view and maybe your house lights or, or ambient light or wall lights on a different view so that you don't have a, a cluttered area and you can logically separate 
how those are presented in the software. So that's a basic overview of the programming screen and all the functions on that screen in a very um, beginner manner. Um, there's a bunch of other features here and we'll go over those in uh, later videos. So programming mode for Enlighten, training level one.